In a somewhat recent interview, Vivzipop was asked about the hierarchy of Hell, and gave an off-handed list based off of their power ranking. The details are all supported by the show, so this is essentially canon, but more nuance and layers to it will likely be added as both Hell of a Boss and has been Hotel progress. At the very top of the pyramid, we have Lucifer himself, who is known as the King of Hell. He, of course, is modeled after Lucifer from various biblical literature. We see very little of him in the show. Even in has -Been Hotel, he mostly appears as a silhouette in various scenes, with the only detailed look at him being a portrait in the background of the hotel. Lucifer is a fallen angel, which according to Vizipot means he has dominion over demons. With this angelic power being what seems to elevate him above not just the lower classes of hell, but even the powerful elites. Lucifer also doubles as the Prince of the Pride Ring, the top ring of the seven rings of hell, each based off of one of the seven deadly sins. In this case, titles like King and Prince do not necessarily reference family. While Charlie is the Princess of Hell because her dad is the King of Hell, he is also the Prince of the Pride Ring, but seemingly not related to the other princes, with Lucifer even getting caught up in lawsuits with the princes of other rings. Despite ruling over the Earthborn Sinners, who themselves are restricted to the Pride Ring, Lucifer coordinates with Heaven each year to facilitate the annual extermination, where angels known as Exorcists come down to kill as many Earthborn Sinners as they can. This is said to be done for population control reasons. Despite the title of king, Lucifer's attire resembles that of a circus ringleader, which matches a lot of the imagery we see throughout Hasbun Hotel and Hell of a Boss. Even the Happy Hotel itself is a place with circus imagery, such as the image of elephants balancing on giant balls. This gives the impression that Lucifer sees Hell as one giant circus, with the seven rings of Hell just being circus rings, and he runs it like one intentionally, not just with these stylistic choices, but in a way that he finds similarly entertaining on a grand scale. We've got a lot more to break down, but real quick, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. The internet is not the place it used to be, and while we say the internet used to be the Wild West, in many ways it felt a lot safer because of how open it was and how easy it was to find any of the content you wanted. NordVPN keeps you safe, and it helps you get the content you want. I love reviewing cartoons, and lately my favorites have been the obscure older cartoons, but a lot of these aren't even available on streaming services in America. NordVPN allows you to select a location from around the world and lets you browse the internet as if you lived there, allowing you to access all sorts of cartoons and other TV shows and movies that you don't normally have access to in your country. It is not every day that I get to promote a sponsor that aligns so deeply with my values, which have always been that the internet should be a place of limitless knowledge, art, and entertainment, and Nord gives you access to all of that while limiting how other websites can use that against you. Greedy websites are out here selling your information to greedy corporations, all to exploit you for their own profits. Take control of your safety and security with a VPN that has a double data security encryption for twice the security, over 5200 super fast servers, and some of the best discounts you will ever see. Just go to nordvpn.com slash cartoonuv, or use coupon code cartoonuv at checkout to get a huge discount on a two-year plan, with four additional months thrown on top of that for free. I'll put the links in the description down below, as well as in a pinned comment. And now, back to the video. Now Lucifer is the king in the hierarchy of hell, so just below him we have his immediate family, the queen and princess of hell, Lilith and Charlie. Lilith is rooted in Jewish legend as the first wife to Adam who refused to submit to him. In some stories, she goes on to be a demon of sorts and even marries a fallen angel such as Lucifer, which seemed to inspire their husband hotel counterparts. In addition to being Lucifer's wife, she is also apparently a performing singer in Hell. Not much else is known about her or her husband, but Vizipop has said that the show will have a large focus on Charlie's relationship with both of her parents. Charlie seems to be something of an equal to Lilith in terms of power, and perhaps is even stronger than her, as she is half-angel on her father's side and has access to angelic magics that her mother likely doesn't. In terms of authority, however, Lilith does seem to be the one in charge. No one seems to take Charlie very seriously at all, despite her power. It isn't just egotistical news anchors like Katie Killjoy who are dismissive of Charlie. Everyone seems to treat her like a joke and aren't afraid to throw down with her. Third in the power ranking comes the remaining six deadly princes, each ruling over one ring of hell modeled after one of the seven deadly sins. 
To date, we have yet to actually see one of these rulers in the show itself, with Lucifer's silhouette seeming to be the only exception, but we do get other hints of them here and there. While the Prince of Wrath is never referenced or mentioned by title, the Peter Binsfield classification of demons, which these seven princes were inspired by, says that Satan is the Prince of Wrath, and he is someone that the Imps of Hell seem to have a reverence for, particularly those from the Wrath Ring. They refer to Satan the same way that we refer to God, more like a deity than a prince or ruler. While we don't know what he looks like, there was a character representing both Satan and Lucifer in Vizipop's Zoophobia comic series and animations. It is possible that Satan may look like him in Hasman Hotel as well, though I have a different theory. In Hasbin Hotel and Hell of a Boss, Satan seems to rule over mostly just imps from the Wrath Ring, and the imps are very reminiscent of traditional devils. The devil also being the name often given to Lucifer and Satan. I imagine that when we meet Satan, he will have that traditional horned devil look as well, though he'll likely be much bigger and also have a more crazy design than the other imps in order to distinguish himself from them. The Greed Ring is run by Maman, who we don't see in person, but who seems to have his face printed on Hell's currency, something further confirmed by his signature featuring a doodle of himself with the same basic design as a Jester Demon. While we know the Seven Princes are inspired by the Peter Binsfield classification of demons, the only other demon on the list we've had any solid references to in the show is Asmodeus, who seems to appear for a quick shot in the trailer for Season 1 of Hell of a Boss. It is likely that this character, who seems to be nicknamed Big Ozzy, is Asmodeus himself, as the neon faces he has match the description of Asmodeus having three heads, one of a ram, one of a bull, and one of a human. It is possible, however, that this isn't the Prince of Lust at all, but rather his son, just an extremely powerful demon like Charlie who is related to the true Prince of the Ring. As we go down the pyramid, each class of power has more and more demons, with a pretty big jump between the seven deadly princes and the 72 demons of the Ars Goetia, which we see mostly through Stolas and his family within the series. The demons of the Ars Goetia are inspired by the descriptions of demons in the real-life Lesser Key of Solomon, which includes 72 royal elites in the Ars Goetia. Stolas is modeled after one of the princes, making him stronger than a lot of others in the Ars Goetia, but weaker than some others as well. Like with the other classes, this power ranking may include Stolas' family such as Stella and Octavia, despite them not being modeled after the real demons from the Ars Goetia as far as I have read. It is uncertain what the title of prince exactly entails in this case, but like with the seven princes of the seven rings, it seems to have a lot more to do with their power or role in Hell's society than with who they are related to by blood. Below the Ars Goetia, we get what we refer to as the Overlords. The term Overlord has been thrown around rather loosely, but mostly is used to refer to demons who rose to power in some way. This can include both the Earthborn Sinners and the Natural Born Citizens. Some overlords seem to have the title through business merit, simply collecting a lot of souls through dirty dealings to gain power. Alistair is said to be an overlord only because of a technicality, and we don't exactly know what that means. The two theories are that he either has control over an industry, such as the radio, or simply that the power he has is enough to be considered an overlord, even if he doesn't actually rule over people the way that the other overlords seem to. When he first arrived in Hell, Alistair began to immediately topple over the other overlords, and broadcast his carnage on the radio so everyone would hear it. Alistair's magic has a radio theme, and it's not a stretch to imagine that he has complete control over the radio industry because of it. I like to think that he just uses his power to simply have oldies playing 24-7 if he isn't broadcasting torture, with everyone in Hell being forced to listen to only what Alistair likes. That being said, we do know he has some crazy special voodoo magic that makes him so powerful, so control over an industry may have nothing to do with his title. It may be that the sheer power makes him an overlord even if he doesn't have a business or industry to run. Some overlords pass their power down in the family, whether it is natural born citizens raising their children in the business, or earth born sinners creating a safe structure for their kids when they inevitably die and perhaps join them in hell, such as we see with Angel's family, though it should be noted that while they are a crime family, there is no evidence that they are overlords yet. We do see an example of this with a natural-born family in Hell known as the Von Eldridge family, who Vivzipop describes as new money, and who can be seen in various photos in the background of Hasbin Hotel posing with Charlie's family. Charlie even dated the son of that family, Sephiathan, for some time before eventually getting with Vaggie. 
Finally, some overlords seem to have the title just by taking over certain areas. The area below the Pentagram in Pentagram City seems to be under a constant turf war, and after the annual extermination, whoever was in control before seemed to be out of the picture, leaving Cherry and Serpentius to battle each other over the territory. It is likely that there is some benefit from being an overlord in this way that elevates your powers, giving you control over other souls in hell. Serpentius, however, seems to be in it just to be seen as an overlord with the other overlords, with his Instagram account featuring crudely edited photos of himself with the other overlords such as the three Vs. Beneath the overlords are the Earthborn Sinners. The Earthborn Sinners outrank the natural-born citizens of Hell, despite the fact that Sinners are only able to exist in the Pride Ring, with a natural-born citizen such as the Imps being able to live in the Pride Ring, but still travel to any other ring they want whenever they want. The difference in power likely comes from the fact that Earthborn Sinners seem to be immortal who cannot reproduce while in Hell, whereas the natural-born citizens have been implied to be capable of death over and over again, both natural and from violence, and they also reproduce. Earthborn sinners live forever, unless of course they are killed specifically by an angel's weapon used in the annual extermination, which often get left behind after an extermination and then sold on the black market. Below them are the natural born citizens of hell as I said, with imps and hellhounds being at the very bottom of that. So far, imps and hellhounds are what we have seen the most of after the Earthborn Sinners, with even the Greed Ring being filled almost entirely with imps at Lululand. We did see the Succubus in Episode 3, and know even more Lust-based demons exist in the Lust Ring, thanks to the trailer, and there are likely countless other sentient species throughout the Seven Rings of Hell as well. Despite being beneath the Sinners as a general rule, some demons likely hold power over Earthborn Sinners just by being important or powerful in some way without being an actual overlord, such as Verasica, who is both famous for singing and also a top hire for missions on Earth. While there is likely a more complex hierarchy to the natural-born citizens of Hell and who has authority over one another within it, one thing we know for sure is that the Imps and Hellhounds are at the very bottom. Originally, the imps were referred to as the lowest of the low, but in her interview, as well as in the show, Vipsy Pop has indicated that hellhounds seem to be just one step below the imps, who, being considered the bottom of the barrel, still treat hellhounds like they aren't important enough to even know their names. As the show progresses, I am sure we will see even more about the hierarchy and learn about other classes and species that exist with their own stories as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it when we break that down for you. And once again, don't forget to check out the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. Links as always are in the description and in the pinned comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.